So the question I frequently get asked a lot is, will AI displace human jobs? Well, absolutely. We're already seeing this. I've been a professional software engineer since 1995. I mean, Gen X, baby. But this is the most rapid change that I've seen, and not just in AI. There's so many things affecting software engineering these days. It's both exciting and a little bit scary all at the same time. Now, the usual thing that I tell you is, don't worry, AI will create more new human jobs. And will AI create more human jobs? Also, absolutely. Now, the real killer question is, what is the ratio? Is AI creating new jobs faster than it's displacing old jobs? And the challenge with software engineering is there's a lot of things displacing old jobs. I, I feel like there's another video I should maybe do on, I don't know, what I would almost call the golden age of software engineering, which is I feel like when Gen X sort of grew up in it. Maybe that's another video. Let me know in the comments. That might be useful. But is it creating new new jobs faster than it's displacing old ones. We're often told that new technologies create more jobs than they replace. And historically, that's mostly been true. Every job was once manual, completely manual human labor, until technology stepped in, making work more efficient and reducing the need for as many human hands. Around the turn of the century, this played out with steam-driven machines. Jobs were lost, but new ones were created, often in greater number and complexity. As the saying goes, you won't lose your job to AI. You will lose it to humans who know AI. Lumberjacks didn't lose their jobs to chainsaws. They lost them to people who knew how to use chainsaws. This cycle of displacement and reinvention feels endless, unless there's a ceiling. One possible ceiling is a post-scientific age, where there's simply nothing left to discover. Such an age is a long way off. However, that age does not need to arrive for humans to be replaced, because AI and robotics may not follow the same pattern of machine tools that simply gave more efficiency. AI doesn't just make workers more efficient. AI can replace workers entirely. AI flips the concept of an ever-increasing ceiling. AI causes the ceiling to become the limit of human capability. In the past, people could always move up the ladder, taking on more abstraction as technology made them more efficient. But once AI reaches our level, there is no higher rung for more human jobs. Humans need not apply. Unless we see breakthroughs in brain-computer interfaces or human enhancement, our cognitive and creative limits are largely fixed. They have been since prehistory. AI, on the other hand, will keep climbing, and it won't stop at being equal to humans. Once it reaches our level, it must go on without us. That moment when AI moves beyond us is often called the singularity. Let's just assume current AI is already at 85% of general human capability. It is certainly superior in some narrow domains, but still lacking at holistic scale. But closing that last 15% could be deceptively hard. Remember when fully autonomous self-driving cars were supposed to be just a few years away? It felt inevitable. Steering wheels would vanish, kids would ride unaccompanied to grandma's house. But the final gap of fully autonomous vehicles turned out to be much harder than expected. And we also need to separate the physical from the mental, robotics from AI. Robots can do some amazing things, but they're still limited by battery life, expense, and maintenance. We've seen robots deliver food, check prices, even dump trash into trucks. But compared to AI, robotics is still far behind AI's amazing pace the last few years. To truly match human capability, both robots and AI must advance. And that final 10 to 20% gap, it's often the hardest part. Today's AI, powered by transformers, convolutional networks, reinforcement learning, and diffusion models, has made stunning progress. It can understand language, analyze images, master games, and even perform many physical tasks. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. If not, let me know in the comments. I really, I really enjoy the discussion because I'm not right on everything, certainly. And if you liked it, yeah, I'll do the YouTuber thing. Smash that like button. Let me know. And let me know if you didn't like it as well. And subscribe because I do a lot of videos about AI and just, just where I see things are going and tutorials on how I am using AI for many, many things. Thank you for watching.